everybody. It is Friday. And I know that Fridays are supposed to be like a good day. It's the end of the week, starting of the weekend. But for someone like me, who works seven days a week, like every day is the same. I mean, my routine's the same. It's like Groundhog Day every day for me. But um, I know like the rest of the world celebrates Friday like it's something great. Um, for me, it's a little hectic. I mean, everybody wants to get paid and get their paycheck and all that good stuff. Um, but for me, I prepare for the weekend because that's when I do a lot of my social media stuff. And I never thought that I would be saying this, but in today's world, social media is survival, especially now with the economy being so tough. And, you know, I know businesses everywhere are suffering, but animal shelters, animal rescues, you know, we're, 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 we're getting hit pretty bad. And when somebody asks me, oh, hey, Tia, how's business? You know, and I just mean it in passing. And I don't know exactly how to answer that. Is it business is great. The dogs keep pouring in <laughs> or business sucks because we're not getting that many adoptions. Um, so even though physically my routine is the same every day, thankfully I'm also somebody who my mind is always going. It's always going nonstop. Even when I lay down at night and you know, I am one of these people that I don't look forward to going to sleep because I have things to think about. So of late, I've really been putting a lot of thought into trying to think of ways to raise money. Um, as you all know, you know, Animal Planet is a thing of the past and there is no more pit bulls and parolees as far as new episodes. So sure, you know, I have my Patreon platform and I'm getting my YouTube channel going, um, but it's very time consuming. So I'm constantly thinking of ways to try to make money. Um, I wish I could live on TikTok. It's a very, very um, lucrative platform, actually. But I have a house full of dogs. So it's very difficult for me to do recordings. And, you know, where you make money on TikTok is at, uh, doing live streams. It's a very fast-moving platform. But it's hard to do live streams when you have dogs barking in the background or this one wants to go out or this one wants to come in and... I have tried to record live streams while taking care of the dogs, but um, it's difficult. <laughs> so I recently, um, speaking of TikTok, I recently, I was on YouTube trying to learn more about TikTok. And there's several different ways to make money on TikTok. So I thought, okay, you know what? I'm going to go on YouTube. And I'm going to learn all these different ways. And I came across this one YouTuber who broke it down perfectly because everybody has their own interpretation of things. So this one young kid, he, um, he, he just explained it beautifully. And in passing, he said, you know, he's been a, a 
social media entrepreneur for years. He's tried every, all the different ways to make money through social media. And he says, sure, TikTok is, is good. You know, TikTok, the TikTok shop where you uh, advertise things for TikTok and people buy them and you, and you earn commission. And he says he makes pretty good money, actually. And then he just blurts it out. He says, but honestly, Amazon's the way to go. I was like, wait, what? Huh? And so I did a deep dive into all his videos and other, other YouTubers' videos about how Amazon has this program where you can make commissions off selling Amazon products without even having them in your possession. And so I have been on YouTube for days, all week. And I, I don't want to spoil the, the big ta-da moment right now, but let me just put it to you this way. I'm going to experiment once I get everything set up and I'm going to try it. And if this works, I cannot wait to break it to the animal rescue world that there is a way for them to start bringing in money to their, to their animals. Um, I'm super excited to try it, but I'm just not quite ready yet to launch it. Um, so I feel hopeful that I have found another way to bring in some money. And um, so, yeah, you know, maybe it is a good Friday after all. But, you know, again, I know some of you are probably sitting there right now saying, oh, Tia, can you really take on another project? And I, I do have people say that. I'm like, no, I really can't take on another project. But I have no choice. If I just sit here and just wait for donations to come in, and I'm going to be very honest with you, I'm not putting this news out there in the, in the big social media world yet. But if I just sit here and just let donations come in without really putting more of an effort into all these different social media ideas, I can almost say with certainty that Villalobos Rescue Center, a.k.a. Life for Paws, will be no more by the end of 2025. Mm-hmm. That is how much money it costs to run this place. And I was doing our, our tax filings. Um, and I was working on the ones that were, you know, a year after COVID and just going through stuff. And I was like, why did we spend so much more money the year right after COVID or in, in the year, actually a year to two years after. And then it hit me. But every other animal shelter and rescue went through. The pandemic dogs and cats getting dumped. And our intake was enormous, enormous. For like 2022. And probably going to be the same for 2023. It's like a tsunami. So again, to those that say, Tia, can you really take on another project? I'm going to say it again. Kind of have no choice. Just got to suck it up, you know, and, and hopefully something, something happens. Um, but yeah, it is tough keeping up with all of this. So we'll see. I'm hoping to launch it in the next few days. So it would be, let's see, for those that, because I don't know when y'all are going to listen to this episode. So I'm guessing, so like the first week of September, 2024, I'm hoping to be able to launch this Amazon program and see if it actually works. I got a whole plan figured out. Um, <laughs> all right, y'all. Will you enjoy your weekend? I will be on social media trying to make some money. And with that, I have to say, my mission is to rescue. But my true hope is that one day I won't have to. <laughs>